Hello, my name is Amir Aran, MD. I'm an orthopedic hand surgeon at Kaplan Medical Center. And today we'll be talking about Dupuytren's disease. Dupuytren's disease, which is also called Viking's disease. Well, we believe that this all started from one of the Vikings who had a mutation which actually causes Dupuytren's disease when it involves many organs which include the hand and the feet and sometimes even the penis. At the end of the day, Dupuytren's disease, when it affects the hand, comes from the palmar fascia. If you look at the skin on the palmar aspect of your hand, you cannot move it easily. Whereas in the forearm, you can move your hand across it and the skin will move quite easily. This fascia, which is there in all the primates and does not allow the skin here to move, is the area where the myofibroblast, which causes Dupuytren's disease, acts. What happens is the myofibroblast, which is not a regular one, there is the Dupuytren's trait in it, causes the fingers to contract. Most commonly the fourth finger, sometimes also the thumb. And when it contracts, it actually prevents you from strengthening your fingers out. So. In these cases, there is no real conservative treatment. What you can do is you can, in some cases, opt and perform an injection of Xypex, which is collagenase, into the cord, which is actually what causes the disease. And when you, you decide you do not want an injection to this area of collagenase, or when that fails, or when it is not indicated, then you will opt for a surgical intervention. This surgical intervention should entail meticulous dissection over the area where the disease has affected your finger and your hand. The cord should be fully excised while preventing any injury to the neurovascular bundles which are in this vicinity. You should remember that in Dupuytren's disease, in many cases, the disease itself engulfs the neurovascular bundles and this really entails a very meticulous and very precise incision and precise dissection over this area. Once this is done and the incisions which are done in a zigzag fashion which is the burner type incision then you can afterwards start moving your hand and if you had a very big contracture prior to this you might not end up with a full extension of your fingers. So you might want to do it relatively early. Once a finger has been operated on, chances of recurrence are very, very small. This might still happen. In any case, Dupuytren's disease is a complicated disease, but it is also lots of fun for the surgeon. So at the end of the day, I will tell you the following. I hope the best in uh, health for you, and we are here offering our help to you if you need so. I was a Miron MD hand surgeon. Thank you. Oh, I lost the disclaimer. I lost it, no? Can? Can, can, can. No, I'm not going to do it. No, I'm not going to do it.